you all students come back to our next video of chapter 2 known as matter before enter into a topic today i am going to introduce some new words so students all of you repeat after me first word is matter say m a t t e r matter solid s o l i d solid l i q u i d liquid g a s e o u yes gaseous h y d o o g e n hydrogen o x y g e n oxygen a t o m yes atoms i n c o m p r e s s i b l e incompressible say i n c o m p r e s s i b l e incompressible space s p a c e so students i hope that you learned some new words today shall we move on to a topic yes today we are going to see about the matter almost everything we see around us is consists of matter so anything that occupies the space and has the mass is known as matter simply for example we take table chairs books house water etc now we take the table the table can occupy space and it also has some mass so it is known as the matter but however light sound and heat what about this these are not known as matter because what did we say that the matter means it needs to occupy some space and it has some mass it is known as matter but in light sound and heat they didn't occupy space it doesn't have the mass so they does not have the mass and space so it is does not consider as the matter and some of the physical properties of matters are matter is made up of particles and they are very tiny and they have some space between them and they are move continuously they never stop and they are attract each other these are some of the physical properties of matter and some of the properties of matter include shape color size and texture there are three properties common to all types of matter they are known as mass volume and density now we can see about the mass what is mass the amount of matter a body contains is called its mass simply we can say a uh, contained a jar and jar so here jar is considered as a body and jar is known as the amount of matter so the amount of matter a body contain is called its mass it can be measured in grams second we are going to see about the volume the space occupied by an object is called its volume simply we can say consider a balloon we can fill the air only as a limiter they can occupy space if we fill the more gas what it will be happen it will be burst so the space occupied by an object is called its volume another example is a football occupies more space than a cricket ball so the volume of the football is greater than that of a cricket ball volume is measured in liters third we are going to see about the density density is the mass per unit volume of any object simply we can take any object and fill some of the uh, matter or object inside it it can only consist only of a certain limit if it were more it will be come out so for any object there will be a limited amount of space to fill the object 
and the density is calculated by dividing the mass of an object by its volume. So, now what matter is made up of? Yes, matter is made up of a tiny particles called atoms. So, first we see about the atoms. 2000 years ago, a Greek thinker known as Democritus said the smallest particle that cannot be divided is called an atom. Which means atom is the smallest particle. So, atoms are too small and it can be seen under a light microscope and they do not reflect the light and we can use an electron microscope to see an atom as like I show in this image. An atom is the smallest unit of an element that still maintains the characteristics of an element. So, atoms are tiny particles we can see only on electron microscope and it has still maintained the characteristics of that element. In most substance, particles do not exist independently. They join up to form the molecules. So, particles do not exist independently which means they always join up to form the molecules. But in some exception cases like gold, iron and carbon, atom can exist independently. We say that the atoms are joined together to form the molecules. Here one of the examples where we consider hydrogen and oxygen as a two atom. So we take two atom of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. These both can combine to form a molecule which is known as the water. So we can say the 2H2 plus O2 can give 2H2O which is known as the water molecule. Here hydrogen and oxygen is considered as an atom. When two atoms can be joined together we can able to form a molecule. Here we can obtain the molecule as water which means H2O. So two atoms can join together to form a molecule. Now, there are two molecular which is intermolecular force and intermolecular space. The molecules of a substance which can held together by an attractive force are called the intermolecular force. Intermolecular force means attract each other and they held together as tightly. And they have space between the molecules in a substance determines many characteristics of the substance. So, there is attractive force can be held together is known as the intermolecular force. And in intermolecular space, the space between the molecule is called intermolecular space. If there are some of the space between the two molecules, we can say that intermolecular force means there must be no space. And intermolecular space, that has some space. So, intermolecular force are attractive and held together and intermolecular space or they have the space between the molecules. Now, we move on to our main topic. States of matter. The matter exists in three states which is solid, liquid and gaseous. The state of any sample of matter depends on the intermolecular force between its molecule which means the matter depends on any sample but it has the intermolecular force between the molecules. First we move on to a solid state. In solid the molecules are closely packed and the intermolecular force is very strong and this prevents the molecules from moving away from each other which is why solids have the following characteristics. Simply we can say that the solid is closely packed and intermolecular force is very strong and it prevents the molecule from moving away from each other. When we consider the brick, we can see it is closely packed and where intermolecular force is very strong. So it will be very hard to break and there are some of the space to moving away from each other. These are known as the solid state 
and some of the properties. First property is solid have definite shape and it has the fixed volume. And the space between the particles is minimum. The force of attraction between the particles is maximum. The movement of the particle is minimum. They are rigid and incompressible. Rigid means it has a strong. Their rate of diffusion is least. Yes. Shall we compare it with the brick? Yes. Consider the brick. First property is solid have definite shape and fixed volume. Yes. The bricks have the definite shape called a cuboid. And it has fixed volume that it can consist only occupy limited space. And the space between the particle is minimum. Yes, that is the minimum amount of space between these particles. And the force of attractions between the particle is maximum. Yes, the attraction between the particle is maximum. So only it will not break out easily. The movement of the particle is minimum. Yes, because attraction is more. So the movement of the particle is minimum. And they are rigid and incompressible. Yes, they are very strong. Rigid means strong and their rate of diffusion is least. Now we move on to the liquid state. Yes, second state is liquid state. In a liquid, the molecules are less closely packed than in a solid. In other words, the intermolecular space is greater than that is a solid and the intermolecular force is less than that in a solid. So the molecules of a liquid have greater freedom of movement then the molecules of a solid. However, they cannot leave the volume of the liquid altogether. Due to these factors, liquid also having some following characteristics. Okay, now what we understand from this? Yes, in solid state we see that the intermolecular force is very strong. In liquid state, the intermolecular force is less, but the intermolecular space is greater. Yes, we can agree with this. Consider the liquid uh, like milk. In milk, the intermolecular force is less, but the space for the intermolecular is high. So, in liquid state, intermolecular space is greater, but force is less than the in a solid. So, the liquid have the greater freedom of movement than the molecules of a solid. In solid, there will be a little movement. But here they have the greater freedom of movement and some of the properties of liquid. First property is liquids have no definite shape but have fixed volume. Liquids take the shape of the container. Second point, the space between the particles is intermediate. Third point, the force of attraction between the particles is intermediate. And the fourth point, the movement of the particle is intermediate. Fifth point, they are less compressible. Sixth point, the rate of diffusion is more than solids. Shall we compare it with the liquid state of milk? Yes. Consider here we having the milk. Is this milk have some of the shapes? No. It has no definite shape but have fixed volume. It is not only in this shape or that shape. We are not fixer. But the liquid shape of fixer is based on the shape of the container. When the glass is in this shape, so the volume is fixer. So in liquid, the shape is fixed based on the container. And the space between the particle is intermediate. There are no, there are more space. The force of attraction between the particle is intermediate. It also medium. The movement of the particle is intermediate. There are also some of the movement and they have been greater freedom of movement than the Molecules of a solid and they are less compressible. It have been not more rigid. Rigid means strong. It is less compressible. The rate of diffusion is more than solids. Shall we move on to the third state which is known as the gaseous state. In a gas, the molecules are packed very loosely and the intermolecular force is far less than that in a liquid. The molecules move freely in all directions at a high speeds. This is why gases also have some of the following characteristics. So based on this, gaseous state intermolecular force is far less than than in a liquid. Yes, intermolecular force is 
greater in solid. In liquid, it is less than solid. In gas, it is less than liquid. Which means the intermolecular force is far less for the gaseous state. So, the molecules can move freely in all directions at the high speeds. In liquid, intermolecular force is medium. So, they can be able to move in the direction. But it is intermediate. But in gas, it has far less than the liquid. So, it can be moved in all directions at the high speeds. This is why gases have some of the following characteristics. Like the first property is gases have no definite shapes or fixed volume. Gases occupy the whole space of the container. Second point, the space between the particles is maximum. Third point, the force of attraction between the particles is minimum. Fourth point, the movement of the particles is maximum. Fifth point, they are most compressible. Sixth point, their rate of diffusion is more than solids and liquids. We can take a cylinder or some of the examples of balloon. Just imagine gases have no definite shape or fixed volume. Yes. If we can fill the gas in the cylinder or we fill the air in the balloon, it has no definite shape or fixed volume, but it occupies the whole space of the container. But when we fill the gas into the cylinder, it can occupy whole space, but it has no fixed volume. And the space between the particles is maximum. Yes, it contains the whole space, no. So that will be the maximum amount of space for the particles. The force of attraction between the particles is minimum. Yes, that will be the less amount of attraction. And the movement of the particles is maximum. Yes, there will be the more amount of movement because the intermolecular force is far less than the liquid. So the molecules can be moved freely in all direction at the high speeds. So the movement of the particle for the gaseous is maximum and they are most compressible. They can be tightened into the container. The rate of diffusion is more than solids and liquids. So I hope you students here understand about the three states of matter which is known as a solid, liquid and gas. Simply I now explain that solid intermolecular forces high and for liquid intermolecular forces less than solid and for gas intermolecular forces far less than that in a liquid and solid have definite shape, liquid have no Liquid have the def no definite shape and have fixed volume and gaseous have no definite shapes of fixed volume. And the attractions between the particles is maximum for solids and uh, for liquid it will be intermediate and for the gaseous it is minimum. And the space between the particles for uh, solid is minimum and for liquid is intermediate and for gaseous is maximum. And there are some of the comparisons between the solid, liquid and gaseous. So best example for the salad is brick, ball, apple etc. And for liquid we can take milk, water, juice, anything etc. And for gaseous, air balloon, parachute or cylinder etc. for the gaseous states. And I hope that you are clear about this topic. Now here are some of your worksheets. First, I ask you the objective questions from today's class. First question is, which of the following is not made of matter? Yes, we can study about the matter and which are made of a matter we know. So, you need to tick which is the correct answer. And second question is, intermolecular space is greater than? Yes, we already know that. And short answer first question is, define matter and give three examples. You need to write define matter what is matter and give three examples and second question is what are the three states of matter we know that already the three states of matter you need to write the answers and the long question is compare the properties of a solid and a liquid at the end of the class i can see the comparison between solid liquid and gaseous here you need to compare the properties of solid and a liquid Second question is, 
give five examples for solid liquid and gases i explain some of the examples leave that and you need to think and write the real life examples of any five for solid liquid and gases and i hope you enjoyed this class and you understand more about the matters which is on the solid liquid and gas and i continue in your next video students thank you students